All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Now, I have no idea what this movie is about, but I know it's a thriller. So, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next couple movies that I do will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So, click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Just look at all the passion on that wall. Yeah, well, this is done deal. I'll put the paper. What kind of fucking question is that? You know, we are all gonna be real glad when we get rid of you, Somerset. You know that? Damn, all right. I'm Detective Mills. Why here? I don't follow. Well, all this effort to get transferred. I guess the same reasons as you. The same reasons you had before you decided to quit, yeah? <laughs> you, you just met me. <laughs> Maybe I'm not understanding. <laughs> You actually fought to get reassigned here. I've just never seen it done that way before. I thought I could do some good. Look, but he's had his face in a plate of spaghetti for about 45 minutes now. Wait a minute. No one bothers with vital signs? Did I stutter? What exactly was the point of the conversation you were about to get into? <laughs> Don't know. How many times is Bonnie Fife found dead bodies? Yeah, Morgan Freeman is about his business. Don't waste energy on anything pointless. Mm. Oh, he wasn't lying about the spaghetti. <laughs> mm. Took the tip of the blade, stuck it in his own shoulder blades, and he must have screwed up a few times because there was mm. multiples back there. Could you please be quiet? <laughs> Let me focus. Got a bucket here. What's in it? Piss. Oh, ooh. ooh. I didn't see any help yourself. <laughs> that smell must be rancid <laughs> to make him react like that to get, the, get out of there as fast as he did. Dave Mills, would you go help the officers question the neighbors? Send in forensics on your way out, please. Damn, Warrior Freeman does not want him in here. Brad Pitt wants to be involved. In my files, right? You've seen the things I've done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna have to prove himself. Look, I made a decision. I had to consider the integrity of the scene. Couldn't worry whether you thought you were getting enough time on the plane. He's got lines of distension across the duodenum, and the interior wall is ripped open. This man ate till he burst? Not all the way. He was hemorrhaging internally. What about these bruises up here? Gun pressed against his head? Marks from the front side flush with the muzzle. See? He's useful. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a homicide. He burst. Oof. Sadistic mm. fucker, huh? When you want somebody dead, you drive by and shoot him. You don't risk the time it takes to do this. The act itself has meaning. God. This was hateful. <laughs> this is beginning. We've got one dead guy, not three. No motive. Please. I'd like to be reassigned. The hell are you talking about? This can't be my last duty. No, uh, he wants a bigger case. This should not be his first assignment. Oh, come on. I, what? Yeah, he doesn't want it. Fuck him. Sorry, but we'll see you later. Have a nice time. Give it to me. But it looks like you're stuck cleaning up the fat man. It's too soon for him because he's, like, protecting him. He doesn't want him around this case. For He's too eager. He's not patient enough as a detective yet. Doesn't think he's ready for it yet. Ooh. Someone broke into his law firm and bled him to death. Put the word greed on the floor. I don't think you're leaving. You no. can't leave all this. It's his entire life. I don't understand this place any longer. It's the way it's always been. You were made for it, and I don't think you can deny that. Hmm, what, what? Uh, we got a note. We got someone playing games. It means that this is beginning. This was found behind the same refrigerator. Gluttony. There are seven deadly sins, Captain. Gluttony. Greed. Okay. Sloth. Wrath. I get it. Pride. Mm -hmm. Lust. Because the lawyer was greedy and the dude overeating. Gluttony. You can expect five more of these. That's why this movie's called Seven. Now, wait a minute. I can't get involved in this. Yeah, you can. Somerset. 
You wanted it. Yep. They're both working, but in two very different ways. Somerset's studying the philosophy, and Brad Pitt's just trying to decipher the crime scene. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Hey, buddy. See, now he's working with them. It's a package deal. Comes with the office. <laughs> hmm. It's, she'd like to speak to you. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to talk to you, too. Well, in that case, I'd be delighted. Oh, well, what? Dinner? Something? On what? What, what, okay, what does she want with him then? Hmm. Interesting. Well, sorry. What? Oh, um, <laughs> she's not. Been... I've been invited to a late supper at your apartment. I accept. Hmm. Hmm. Good name, William. William, I'd like you to meet David. David, hmm. this okay. is good. All right, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. Damn, three dogs in an apartment. Just didn't happen. It surprises me. It really does. Why is she so curious about him? Dude, what if she's the murderer? There's no way. Subway. Wait in a minute. Huh? Wow. That probably never gets old. Real estate guy. Piece of Sorry. Oh, he didn't mention that? <laughs> were about atonement for sin. No fingerprints. Nope. Totally unrelated victims. And no witnesses of any kind. This killer's good. We must have left another puzzle piece. Gould's wife. She was out of town at the time. And she's supposed to see, but hasn't been given a chance. So we gotta get her out of the safe house. So that we can bait the killer into making their next move. She might be the next victim, who knows? Wait. Hmm. What? This painting, it's upside down. Ooh. Nothing. Could just be misdirection. Tear that shit off the back. See if there's anything behind it. Must be something. Hmm. Maybe it was pointing in a direction since it was moved upside down. Ah, he's fucking with us. That's what he's doing. See this? This is us. Yeah. Mmm. Well, I can tell you guys, just by looking at the scroll pattern, not the victim's fingerprints. He just made me do it. My dog made me do it. J Jody Foster told me to do it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I wish I still thought the way you do. Mmm, so optimistic. We're collecting all the evidence. Taking all the pictures and samples, writing everything down. We're one step behind. Wake up, Glimmer twins. You've got a winner. Hmm. Got a match? This guy goes by the name of Victor. His real name is Theodore Allen. His prints were found at the scene by homicide. He's got a long history of serious mental illness. He's not buying all this story. Doesn't mm. seem like our guy, does it? It's misdirection. They're toying with us. They want us to think we found them, and it's just gonna be a dead end. It's probably gonna be our, the next victim. It's gonna have one of the seven sins on on the wall or somewhere or something like that. Mm, what? Morning, sweetheart. Oh. Get up now, motherfucker. Oh, okay. Ah! They're, they're alive? No, no. They're probably dead. They just look like they're alive. It's his dead body. Ooh. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Dex! Been dead for a while, shit. No, the hands like cut off. And all these air fresheners up here. Because they knew this body would rot if they left it. Sloth. This picture was dated three days ago. Damn. Dated exactly one year ago today. I got a hair sample. I got a oh. stool sample. He's laughing at us. 
What? Yes, I can hear you. Excuse me. Hey, what are you doing? Close crime scene. Get the fuck out of hey, here. I got a right to be here. Get out, out of here. Get out of here. Hey! Get out of here. I got a fucking right to be here. Shit. Get out of here. Jack. Jeez. Fuck you. I got your. They pissed me off. Okay. It's impressive to see a man feeding off his emotions. <sighs> I knew he was going to say something condescending. <laughs> What can I do for you, Tracy? I need someone to talk to. Do you think mm -hmm. somewhere, maybe tomorrow morning? Okay, I don't understand. You're the only person that I know here. <laughs> There's no one else. There's some fat twist in this movie coming, though. Like, something is gonna happen. Why don't you tell me what's really bothering you, Tracy? David and I are gonna have a baby. <laughs> I'm the one to talk to about this. I hate this city. Dude, they're literally in Gotham. <laughs> this is what Foxy did before he met Bruce. <laughs> I'm positive that I made the right decision. But there's not a day that passes that I don't wish that I had made a different choice. The baby, I mean, if that's your decision, don't ever tell him that you were pregnant. But if you choose to have this baby, you spoil that kid every chance you get. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's making her cry. Envy, wrath, pride, lust, or left. This guy is methodical, exacting, and worst of all, patient. And just because a uh, fucker's got a library card doesn't make him Yoda. Is it a library card? Better now. By telling you this, though, I'm trusting you more than I trust most people. It's probably nothing, but even if it is, there's no skin off our teeth. You know, I honestly, Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt as the two main characters is something I, I didn't know I needed. Anyone who checks out a flag book has his library records fed into the FBI's computers from then. Mm. Hey, wait, wait, how is this legal? I see. Siri, no. I didn't say Siri. It might sound silly, but you can't get a library card without a, an ID in the current phone. Book. Yep. So they run a list of precisely. Exactly. The FBI's computers will tell us. Uh, okay, well, that's really gonna narrow it down then. At least you're out of the office. Get a handgun. <laughs> know all this? I don't. I don't know shit. Let's try it. Jonathan Doe. Okay. You do the talker. Alright, I'll tell you right now if he's the guy based on how this interaction goes. Angels. Name off a computer. Is that him? Bills. Mm. Ooh, him. Oh, we got him at least. He's limping. Dude, he's f***ing fast. <laughs> Even with the limp. He's gonna get away. Ooh. Dude, no he's not. Shoot him! No. And I know you said you didn't use your gun, but now's the time to use it. First time in your career. Oh. I was gonna say, first time in your career. But he did. No, if we can't. We, we need a warrant. Cause. We got probable cause. Come on. Think about it. Think? How do we get here? I, I can't tell anyone about this. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. I can't tell anyone yeah. about it. No. Technically, we don't have a reason why we're here, because we can't talk about it. If we leave a hole like this, we won't be able to prosecute. Mm -hmm. The fucking guy will walk. Now, is that what you want? No. We could warn someone else. Nah, fuck that. We no. need a reason no. to knock on this door. Think about it. Yeah, Morgan Freeman's right. Oh, oh my God, right? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Stupid. Son of a Loose cannon. How much money we got left? Fix the door. I noticed this guy going out a lot when the murders was happening. So I um, mm. So you called Detective Somerset, right? Yeah, right, right, right. So we paid them off. <laughs> paid them a lie. 
Mm -hmm. Damn. Ah, uh, the hand. Victor. Yeah. Oh no, what's, what's gonna be in here? What is behind door number two? Damn, yeah, this apartment's f Yeah, he's definitely not getting his deposit back. Somerset! Yeah! What? We had it. Fucking photographer on the fucking mm. stairs! No! Oh my god. How could you, how could you have ever known? Is toying with us. It's like, hmm, so you found my lair. Riddle me this. <laughs> Cause this is the Riddler. <laughs> I admire you. I don't know how you found me, but imagine my surprise. I respect you law enforcement agents more every day. Mm-hmm. He's impressed. John? I tell you. No, no, you listen, alright? <laughs> I'll be readjusting my schedule in light of today's little setback. I just had to call and express my admiration. Accept my apology, won't you? I feel like saying more, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> he sounded super monotone. Like there was no emotion in his voice. Next victim. You from Homicide? You, you better see this! Yeah, right? Lust. Yeah, it makes sense. Being in a place like this. Look, I get this thing off of me! What? What's on you? Bro, why is the music still on? If she's already dead, turn the, let's turn the music off. Damn. Why is the club still open? Dan, 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 he made me wear it. Then he told, he, 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 he told me to fuck her. Wow. Yeah. And I did. I, I fucked her. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, he had a gun in my mouth. Fuck! It's good acting, but I got it. Cheeseburgers, play the lotto, and watch television. Hey, how did you get like this? He's been through some shit. He has perspective. <sighs> It wasn't one thing, I can tell you that. Yeah, exactly. It's just thing after thing after thing. Just drop change them. You'll be like him for 34 years. You can. Yeah. You want to know? Damn right. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make a difference. Whatever. The point is, is that... Die trying. You're quitting because you believe these things you say. I don't. I think you want to believe them because you're quitting. <sighs> Makes it easier to retire. The music playing makes it kind of sus. I feel like they're about to reveal something. I've decided to stay on till this is done. I knew you were going to. Either we'll get John Doe, or he'll finish his series of seven, and this case will go on for years. Hey, man, you don't have to question that you keep me on as your partner for a few more days. You'll be doing me a favor. Yep, exactly. He doesn't want to leave. Oh, is this John Doe about to get up? Think it is. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Another Detective. face to face. Yeah, has a little blood all over him. No big surprise. Detective! Mm. You're looking for me. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, the killer's Kevin Spacey. I was waiting till he was gonna be in this. I saw him in the cast. I'd like to speak to my lawyer, please. <laughs> they audacity <laughs> no employment records his bank account's only five years old and it was started with cash or even he's good he's going uh, to court now i'm telling you there's no way he would just turn himself in it doesn't make any mm -hmm. sense yeah he has a plan it's it's not supposed to make any sense he's not finished no, he's Art is away from completing his masterpiece my client says there are two more bodies hidden away he will take Detectives Mills and Somerset to these bodies, but only Detectives Mills and Somerset. Do you imagine being his lawyer? I'm sure he doesn't want to represent him, but he has to. Required by law to serve my clients to the oh, best Jesus of my ability. Christ. Yeah. To serve their best interests. So wishes to inform you that if you do not accept, he will plead insanity across the board. I mean, let, let him try it. Yep. I'd like to see him try it. And that's his get out of jail free card right there. Full confession. I'm in. It has to be the both of you. If you were to claim insanity, this conversation is admissible. Mm. The fact that he's blackmailing us with his plea. And my yep. client would like to remind you two more are dead. The press would have a field day if they were to find out the police didn't seem too concerned about finding them, giving them a proper burial. If, in mm. fact, there are two more dead. Yeah, we don't know. Could be lying. Blood from the woman whose face he cut off. 
and blood from a third party as yet unidentified. Mm. Why would you say that right here in front of the lawyer? Don't say <laughs> I suppose so. Mm. You were mad enough to ask the file to claim. A bonding. See, he grew on him. It's going to be so sad when William Freeman actually leaves now. We'll never be the same. Even though you've only known him for like six, seven days. Two months from now, no one's going to care. No one's going to give a shit. No one's going to remember. Um, you're going to hurt his ego. People will barely be able to comprehend. But they won't be able to deny. He would play a really good Riddler, though. It's not too far now. This is such a damn setup. Wait a minute, I thought all you did was kill innocent people. Innocent? Is that supposed to be funny? An obese man? A disgusting man who could barely uh, stand up? A man who if you saw him on the street, you'd point him out to your friends so that they could join you in mocking him? Let's not forget the disease spreading whore. Only in a world this shitty. Could you even try to say these were innocent people and keep a straight face? All right, John Kramer. <laughs> And what I've done is going to be puzzled over and studied and followed. Everyone, nope. You will be forgotten in about two years. Nobody will ever remember you. You should be thanking me. Why is that, John? Because you're going to be remembered after this. Re oh, God. <laughs> the only reason that I'm here right now is that I want it to be. No. No. Mm hmm It's a setup. No. No, we would have got you eventually. Oh, really? No, John's right. At that face of yours for the rest of your life. Or should I say, for the rest of what life Sit I've back. allowed you to have. Yeah, see, he wants you to remember him forever. Just narcissist. Delusion and narcissism. <laughs> what time is it? Why? It's now. I'd like to know. It's time to get a watch. 7.01. It's close. There it is. Whatever he's talking about. Man, I got this package for this guy, David. Uh, Detective David Mills. What? This guy paid me 500 bucks to bring it out here, man. Yeah, I guess John just ordered whatever whatever that is out, all the way out here. And it's just a guy doing his job. It's honest work. Amazon would have delivered that shit by drone out here. That I admired you. I meant what I said. <gasps> Wait, it's gonna be his wife. Something from his wife. It's gonna be like his wife's like hand or some shit. Cause it's for David. I don't know. It's gonna be a body part from his wife. Watch it just be her full ass head. The back of the blood. Mm. Stay away. John Doe has the upper hand. Mills! Here he comes. Yeah, cause it's Tra something from Tracy. I'm trying to tell you how much I admire you and your pretty wife. Mm-hmm. It was his wife. He doesn't even know what's in the box. If he knows what's in the box, he's killing John. Throw it away! It didn't work out. Summer said knows he'll kill him, so he's telling him to throw it away. I took a souvenir. Her pretty head. Or whole ass heads in there. Put the gun yeah, down. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal mm -hmm. life. Put the gun down. Wait, that's from this movie? What's in the box? The box! Oh, oh my. The what's gun. in the fucking box? <laughs> Give me the gun. Just That's from this? No! Just throw it all away, you know? No! She begged yeah. for her life, detective. Shut up! She begged for her life. Shut up! And for the life of the baby inside of her. Shut up! Oh! He doesn't even know about the kid, about the baby. Yeah. Uh, you can't kill him, but you can smack the shit out of him. Oh, he didn't know. And Somerset did. I'm so conflicted. Oh! I mean, you shouldn't. Have, you really shouldn't have done that. But dude, do you know how much you know, emotions he's going through right now? He, all right, you didn't even see his wife's fucking head in the box. If he saw his wife's head, then okay, then I would understand. He killed him based off just what he was saying. He doesn't know for sure if he was telling the truth or not. Morgan Freeman did. I guess based on the way Somerset reacted, you can, you know, he's not lying. Where are you gonna be? I'll be around. Yeah, he's not leaving. The city needs me. <laughs> Mills too. Mills, Mills needs him.
Oh, all right. Well, that was seven. All right, this movie did not have a happy ending and it's actually really sad the way it, it all unfolded. John Doe won in the end. He put Tracy's head in the box. <laughs> feel bad for Brad Pitt because you know he was trying his best but he was still really green to everything he made a lot of mistakes throughout this movie you know and I really I like the dynamic because Brad Pitt was really really arrogant but trying his best he's too eager he's he's too hot-headed but then Morgan Freeman is a nice contrast to him because he's the old he's the old guy he's the veteran he knows he's been there done that he's the old wise guy in this situation you know it's a great dynamic and the actors had great chemistry i felt like in this movie and then also kevin spacey oh my god i did not know he could act like that that was a wonderful performance by kevin spacey he would play a phenomenal riddler if they were ever to do it maybe not now he's a little older now but portrayed like this i think it would be a phenomenal role you know what i realized too that kevin spacey was the seventh of his deadly sins Tracy was the sixth and then Kevin Spacey was the last one he always intended to be the last one and Kevin Spacey was saying I tried to be a married man once I tried to have that simple life and it just didn't work out for me so, so that's the envy and then Brad Pitt killing him is the wrath that's a great great spin on it and yeah I know Brad Pitt shot him prematurely he didn't even see what's in the box to even confirm if he was lying or not but yeah based on the way Morgan Freeman was reacting you can kind of tell but that just fits his character perfectly so it makes sense but yeah that was seven comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching